We're the two gay reefers. Hey reefers, today we're gonna have a look at the jar reef. Now, since our last video, we've neglected it. We've done absolutely nothing. Nothing, nada, not a water change. And would you believe it's probably the happiest it's ever looked. So I think it's a stability has really, really helped everything. I think the main thing was that we did last time was change the water flow. So we actually put the bubbler right underneath the rocks. So it actually bubbled from the bottom all the way up to the top of the jar. Because it's been neglected, the glass hasn't been cleaned even and it's pretty yucky and we've also got to do something about this horrible horrible salt creek that we're getting so at the moment the jar lid is sitting on top and the water is condensing going down the bottom of the jar lid and then down the sides of the jar on the outside causing this horrible horrible salt creep so we're going to fix that up to show you exactly how well the jar is thriving on neglect Let's do a little montage. Pay particular attention to the Bird of Paradise bird's nest. It's actually sprouting like nobody's business. So check it out. Okay, so on to maintenance. The reason why this jar reef does so well isn't because of water changes, it isn't because of any nutrients or any feeding. We're not actually feeding any of the corals. It's all to do with this light here. The light provides the corals with everything the corals actually need, which is wonderful. And you can see for the first time, zoas are growing, the bird's nests are growing, the leathers are growing. Everything's actually starting to look really happy and grow like it should. I think too as well, we lost Zoidberg. Not quite sure what happened. I have a feeling he either died and the crabs ate him or he got lost in the last water change, which is my fault. Um, we're going to go without shrimps for now because the jar seems to be appreciating it. First on our jobs today is to clean the glass both inside and outside. What algae the glass does get on the inside is actually those tiny little spots of algae in a very regular pattern, which are really hard to clean off the glass. So let's get a, give it a good scrub, give the outside a good clean with paper towel and do a water change. Now with the water change, what we're gonna do is empty the water first, fill it up with some clean water to get all the silt out of the sand. Do that a couple of times and then fill it with nice fresh water. The one job today that we've got to do is do something about the salt creep on the outside of the jar. What we're going to do is glue some tubing to the actual rim of the jar itself and use some silicon on the inside to help sort of like divert any salt creep back into the jar itself instead of going down the outside of the jar. Let's have a look at the results of our hard work today.
Okay, reefers, I hope you enjoyed that look at the jar reef. And, you know, they're really not that hard if you've got the right light and the right equipment. They're actually easier than Reefzilla over there. <laughs> also, we have found so far. If you've liked today's episode, like, comment, and subscribe. As always, be excellent to each other and keep it salty, everyone. Bye for now. Oh. <laughs>